Hello everyone and welcome back to Pendor. Now, we are actually located right next to Nautar, which used to be a Dashar stronghold, but is now held by the Feared's Vein. And it is actually the southwesternmost town that I am hoping to take before the Empire stretch their reach even further and take rain as it is currently under siege. How unfortunate. So, we will be heading into Nautar and hopefully trying to take it before the Empire gets a chance to successfully claim rain for their own. So, we are lucky enough to actually have ladders in this particular siege. And now all I need to do is place the archers at the front here. And then we should be okay to go all in, I hope. Let's do it. There are 800 plus units here. I believe 834. So we may be in for a rather large siege here. Okay, so far it's not going too badly. Oh my, yes. This guy is a rather successful blocking hero by the looks of things. Yes, here we go. Let's do it. Come on. Come on, ICD. Come on. <laughs> well, it doesn't seem too bad so far. Although, I'm not doing too much damage considering this Jatu Battle Rider is right in front of me. No. There we are. Okay, now we can do some damage. Take out those Vanskarials. Yes. They are the ones that I am, oh my, yes, most afraid of. Or should I say not afraid, but rather threatened by. And, oh my goodness, did it really happen again? Oh my, okay, well, I may just send all of my archers in now, maybe? Or perhaps not, hmm, yeah, we'll leave it for now. We have actually a load of archers, why do we have so many archers? This is probably not a good idea. Okay, well, let's send them in. Hopefully they can assist us rather nicely, I hope. Come on, let's do it. New enemies have arrived, our Cobra Warriors are going in there, not too bad. Heroin Adventurer, come on, you can do some damage with your bow. Yes, we are actually in to the battlements right now. Oh yeah, that is great. Good work, everyone. And who's this guy with his fancy helm? Aha! Ooh, okay. Another fancy unit. Okay, so let us attempt to flank them. I think this should be rather successful, I hope. All of our archers should be entering. Are they? Hmm. Did I actually send them to charge? I believe I did, but maybe they are still shooting with their arrows. Maybe they still have a rather good supply. I can only hope they actually do better job as archers, obviously, rather than infantry. Take them down. Yeah, okay. Careful. Careful. Yeah, take him out. Okay, now what I'm trying to do here is delay these guys as much as possible so that our units can gain an even greater stronghold within the keep. Yes. That seems like a rather solid tactic, I think. Oh my. Maybe not. Maybe not. Careful. Yes. Okay, now I just need to slash at these guys. Oh no. Here they come. Okay. Let me through. Okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. Now, these archers really aren't doing very much. They're actually blocking their own troops, which is always good for us. Yes, yes, this is actually going well. Okay. Good. I'm just lucky that my armor is actually really, really good. And why are those guys just standing out there? Oh, they're part of the Noldor tag, aren't they? <laughs> That's why I wondered why people were actually standing out there. Well, they were actually doing a very good job, and still are doing a good job at picking off a few of the enemy units. I believe they are killing those over there. Now I'm telling them to charge in, so... Yeah, I don't think that was too bad, considering we don't actually get to have any injuries from them now, at least, as well. Ouch, that hurt. Okay. Yeah, so we don't actually have any Noldor being injured, so that's a lot better than usual because, as we know, they do like to get into the fray a little bit too vigorously. For my liking, at least, they do get taken out quite easily, unfortunately. Come on. Yes. We are slowly dying. How unfortunate. I would not like to be taken out here, actually, yes. I think what I'll do 
is run away and hide in a corner. No, we're not going to do that. We're going to shoot these guys with my bow. Yeah. This seems like a good idea. We can take out units, and we can also stay out of harm's way so that we are rather healthy for the upcoming street defenders because, as we know, if I'm a little bit too injured, then I may indeed be taken out. I doubt it, of course, because that takes quite some doing to actually take Iceni out. She is a hardened warrior, and oh my, whoa, that was a big spawn in there. Come on, guys, we can do this. There's only 800. That's not very many. <laughs> yeah, I think we're going to probably fight around 450 of them, because that is the technical limit for it. Although we are fighting 210 total in this battle, as I have raised the battle limit, of course, all that while ago. Come on. Yes, one more shot. Please make it count. There we go. We did. Nice. Good work, Iceni. Now, how many have we actually killed? 381, so only another 70 or so to go. Yes, it seems like we are actually doing a rather decent job here. Not too bad. Can I actually hit someone here? No, doesn't seem like it. Oh, maybe now. Yeah, take that, light infantry. Don't push me off the edge, though. Sure. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think we are successful in taking Naltar. And I will probably award this to myself yet again. However, I still have not had time to actually garrison Torba, so that is undefended as well, which is rather risky, to say the least. But we did actually gain 42 renown for that battle. Very nice. Now, I'm probably going to leave Naltar undefended as well, unfortunately, but what I'm going to do is go in to see my steward and tell him to recruit units from the surrounding villages, and that should give us a rather large amount of troops stationed there. I actually did that with Torba, and I already had like 30 or 40 troops there when I left, and that was like five minutes ago. So yeah, I think that is a really good tactic to use. I think that's probably how the NPCs do it, unless they just somehow magically conjure up a few units. <laughs> But yes, I think that's probably how they do it. They speak to their steward. Why didn't I think of that? That would have been a good idea. Come on, Leslie. You can kill that light infantry easily. Yeah. Good work, Leslie. Come on. Come on, Leslie. I'll take care of these guys if you take care of that guy. Yeah, good work. Yes. Okay. So we are completely successful now in taking Naltar. And we're going to take a few Singalian horsemen. With some armsmen. Oh, we might as well take all of them. Why not? We have the space. Okay, so let's take Huskarls. Oh, I cannot. No, I didn't put any people in my prison. Ha. Huh. <laughs> that is a rather forgetful state of affairs, in my opinion. Hmm. Okay, well, at least we didn't forget to sell. But I do have a baggage train here, and it is actually almost run out. Ouch. Okay. Well, I definitely cannot get another one just yet. Two week cooldown, I believe. So that's not too good. I'm going to have this for myself. Yes, yes, that is good. There's actually a tournament going on here, but I am not going to attend it. Now, let's take these. Honey, yes, okay, that's good. And then let's just sell this. Need as much money as possible. Yeah, as you can see, I am really low on food. Great. Okay, well, let's go to the castle. Talk to our steward. Hello. I wish to go to the war room. Oh, can I do that? Oh, I can actually do that. Oh, I see. Each town, 14 days. So the, there's a cooldown in Torba, 14 days now. Aha. Okay, so now what we can do is send our quartermaster to recruit from surrounding villages. Yes, we're going to do that. And also we're going to schedule a training session with him. Yes, yes. Okay. Thank you. That will be all. And then we can train our steward here. That will take 18 hours and cost 2,700 dinars. I think that's probably worth it. And by the time that is actually complete, we should have around 20 units, maybe even more, stationed at Naltar. And that should be 
a little defense. Uh, it's not going to be enough to prevent any large-scale invasion, but hopefully what will happen over the course of the month, because it is actually a month duration apparently, according to the text, it should give us a rather considerable amount of units. Now as you can see, we already have seven, and that was only 18 hours, so you can imagine what's going to happen over the next few days, or even weeks. So now we will head on to Shaquilla, and hopefully take that as well. But before we do that, I'm actually forgetting... Oh my, Sarleon was just actually besieged. Hmm. Yes, we need to put these units in here, and then we will go and see what's up at Sarleon. Yeah, I'm going to put these guys in. It most likely has a prison already built here, so... They won't have a very high chance of escaping. Yes, we can only hope. Okay, there we go. That's all... Fine and dandy. Now, let us go to Sarleon. Whoa, that's actually really far away. 